I never knew Buhari did not understand the economics, but don't know he was also reckless in spending Obasanjo. Obasanjo denied allegations that he deliberately put off the late Mosiah Radowar, a medically unfit candidate, as his successor in 2007. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The former president, Ulusegu Obasanjo, has said he was aware the immediate past Nigerian president, Muhammad Buhari, don't understand economics. But he did not understand he, Buhari, could also go Hewaya with reckless spending and grant the country's economy. Obasanjo, who led Nigeria first as military head of state in 1976 to 1979 and later as an elected civilian president, 1999 to 2007, stated this in an interview with the cable published on Monday. Obasanjo denied allegations that he deliberately put up late Musa Yaradua, a medically unfit candidate, as a, as a successor in 2007. Obasanjo said, Tinubu said the other day that it was unacceptable that he would spend 90% of revenue to service debts. I wasn't spending 90% when I, I went worldwide to get debt relief. Do you think that anybody would give you debt relief today? Buhari was spending money recklessly. I know Buhari did not understand economies. I put that in my book, but that he could also be so reckless. I did not know. Who would you go to today? and ask for a favor, he asked. Speaking on his choice of Yaradua, he said, See, I set up a committee headed by Dr. Oliseko Agagu of blessed memory to search for his successor. They considered many names and did an extensive assignment on all of them. They made their recommendations. Omaro was top on the list. Their biggest argument in his favor was that he had integrity and would not steal. The issues concerning his health were raised, and I gave his medical reports to an expert for an opinion. Omaru's name was re redacted, so that the that the expert would not know who it was and why I was asking his opinion. After assessing the report, he said, the patient appeared to have done a kidney transplant, and if that was the case, there was nothing to worry about, and he would be as healthy as anybody, any person. That was it. All insinuations that I knew he was going to die, and that that was why I supported him, to be president, we are forced. This is a true story I have told you. So, guys, avoid it now. The former president of Nigeria, Lusegu Obasanjo, has said he was aware the immediate past Nigerian president, Muhammad Buhari, did not understand the economies. But he did not know he, Buhari, could also go a wire with reckless spending and grant the country's economy. Obasanjo, who led Nigeria first as military head of states in 1976 to 1979, and later as an elected civilian president in 1999 to 2000, stated this in an interview with the cable published on Monday. Obasanjo denied allegations that he deliberately put up late Musa 
Yara Doa, a medically unfit candidate as a successor in 2007. Obasan said, Tunubu said the other day that it was unacceptable that he would spend 90% of revenue to, to service debt. I wasn't spending 19% when I went wo worldwide to get debt to relief. Do you think that anybody would give you debt relief today? Buari was spending money recklessly. I know, Buari did not understand the economies. I put that in my book, but that it could also be reckless. I did not know. Who would you go to today and ask for a favor? He asked. Now, asking on his choice of Yara Dua, he said, See, I set up a committee headed by Dr. Elisogo Agago of Blessed Memory to search for a successor. They considered many names and did an executive assignment on all of the names. They made their recommendation. Omaru was top on the list. Their biggest argument in his favor was that he had integrity and will not stay. The issue concerning his health were raised and I gave his medical report to an expert for an opinion. Omaru's name was re dotted so that the expert would not know who it was and why I was seeking his opinion. After assessing the report, he said the patient prepared to have done a appear to have done a kidney transplant and if that was the case there was nothing to worry about and he would be able he would be as healthy as any other person that was it all insinuations that i knew he was going to die and that was why i supported him to be president we are all us. this is the true story i have told you so guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.